Hi all, today we are going to discuss about how to draw the isometric figure of a rectangle scoop that comes under Tin Smithy. So for that first you are going to draw a straight, straight line. Okay, so I am drawing the straight line like this. Okay, lightly and giving angle as for this isometric. First you are going to mark the point here. Okay, so draw a line and mark the point here. So from that point you are going to measure the angles. Okay. So give the angle as 30 here, 90 and 30 here. Okay. So this is 30, this is 30 and this is 90. Okay. So as you already see on the right side it is making a length of 120 mm and on the left side it is making angle of 80 mm. Okay. So first draw this, those lines. So passing through this point and this mark of 30 degrees length. So draw a length of 120 mm like this. Okay. And so move the scale here and mark the point that is 120 like this. Similarly make the scale parallel to this line and move the cursor here so that it should meet the point here. Okay, so that meeting point should be equal to previous point and draw a line lightly for these two points. Okay, for these two end points, draw a line lightly. If there is any changes, we can do it later. Okay, so we are done the bottom portion of this uh, figure, and next, as we have seen in the previous figure, the object should be raised up to 30 mm here. And it is make a slant portion like this. So for that, make the scale parallel to this 90 degrees line. Okay, just move the curves, move the scale up to this point, and draw 30 mm. So one, two, three. So draw a 30 mm line here, up to this point. Similarly, at this point also, draw 30 mm. So one, two, three. Okay, so like this, you are going to draw 30 mm next so parallel to this okay so from parallel to this line just move the scale up to this point here you are going to draw 30 degrees sorry 30 mm line so similarly parallel to that line place the scale here it should be parallel to this line also so place the point scale here at this point and draw 30 mm like this okay next you are going to join this point to this point directly so similarly join this point also so this point and this point next so it should be par so here you are going to draw a line so that line should be parallel to this line so make this scale parallel to this line and move the cursor here so exactly it is making an 80 mm here directly you are going to join this so parallel to this line join these points also as it is making 80 mm at these two end points okay so this is how it is drawn so we are done with the figure next we are going to draw the folded portions of the sheet here that is by using the 5 mm distance lens we are going to draw this okay so further take a distance of 5 mm from this point and 5 mm from this point okay so next you are going to draw like this so for this first you are going to draw 5 mm lightly and here also 5 mm lightly parallel to this line okay so next so for that uh, for making a fold part here so make this line darker up to this point and next you are going to join like this so at this corner points so here also it should be up to like this it should be in slant position and it should be dark so in this way we are going to draw and you are going to remove the unwanted portions that is which are drawn lightly 
okay so make this part darker and this one and this also as this inner line is not visible just rub that line and convert them into dotted lines so remaining portion should be in dark so similarly so like this portion you are going to do here also so for that make a distance of 5 mm here and make a distance of 5 mm here okay so parallel to this line draw a line lightly and similarly parallel to this line make a point of 5 mm and parallel to this line draw a line like this okay so here also you should draw a line but it is not visible so that so for that draw with dotted lines for each and every line it should be in dotted lines so it is up to this point and remaining should be like this and rub the unwanted lines that is which are drawn in lighter and make other lines dark okay make other lines darker by using two H pencils as well as you can use HP pencils also okay so again I am redrawing this figure just to darken the figure So this is how we are done with the figure. Now we are going to give the measurements. So now I am going to give the angle as 30 degrees here. And similarly give the angle as 30 degrees. Okay. Next I am going to give the measurements. So for that. just draw a line like this directly okay make the line parallel to this now give the okay give the arrow size as 3 to 1 ratios and give the value as 120 here similarly draw a line here also parallel to this okay and give the uh, extension line like this so that it should be parallel to this line so it should be of 80 mm and give the arrow mark in the ratio of 3 to 1 ratio and it should be completely filled and give the values 80 here next similarly draw uh, extension lines for here to here and draw the line parallel to this line and it should be also give the arrow size as 3 to 1 ratio and give the value as 30 ok so similarly next year also so draw lines like this ok so parallel to this line draw a line here ok and give the arrow size Give the arrow size value as 3 is to 1 here and this value is also 30 okay next we are going to give this lines values also okay so parallel to this line draw two lines give the arrows and give the values 5 okay so as we are done with the figure now we are going to give the text here like units all dimensions are in mm here and at the top you are going to write the figure name okay so first i am going to 
give the units as all dimensions are in mm so text height should be of 8 mm so draw two parallel lines like this and write the text as all dimensions are in mm okay so this is how we are going to write the text next we are going to write the figure name at top so for that so draw a line here and the text height should be 8 mm to 10 mm so i'm taking here also i'm taking also 8 mm and draw a parallel line here also Okay, so now I am going to write the text that is figure name. So I am starting from here. Give the name as rectangular text and it should be of in capital letters. Width of each letter should be 6 mm and height should be. 8 mm. So this is how we are given the text for this figure. So this is about the complete figure of the rectangular scoop. So we will discuss about other figures in the next session. Thank you.